Okay, so we have been trying to create single particle states in an interacting quantum field theory. Um, to be more specific, in real scalar field theory, but whatever we do here can be applied to um, fields of other kind as well. So, um, actually, we are very close to achieving our goal. So, let me quickly recap what we have done so far. Okay, so we have um, been trying to just take the same steps that we take in free field theory and see that if we arrive somewhere and in that direction we had defined this object A dagger P with a subscript T because this object depended on time explicitly that is something I had asked you to check no I think I had shown you um, okay, this f and then you have this time derivative operator which acts both the ways okay, which, uh, which I defined last time okay, where f is defined as following some factors Okay, remember this omega p when you write it is it will be uh, omega p is omega p square is equal to p square plus m p square where m p is the physical mass okay not the mass parameter in the theory but the physical mass of the particles um, which you will get in this theory. Okay, this was the definition of this and we had found explicitly that if you take this operator and act on the vacuum of the interacting theory, you create a linear sum of all possible states okay, and let me, yeah, let me write down these, all these factors for easy reference, it was a 2 pi cube and then we had sum over all the states, single particle states, vacuum, everything else. Okay. So, that is this summation over alpha and you had this delta cube and then there were some other factors. omega p t okay, times alpha or maybe I will change the order of this compared to last time I had alpha here then field phi at 0 and then this omega. So, this is the uh, this matrix element of phi in these two states and then you had ket alpha. Okay? So, apart from all these other things you see that you have to sum over ket alpha. Okay? And I had also argued that um, vacuum does not contribute. Okay? So, out of this alpha you can drop the vacuum because we argued that this delta function does not hit for uh, vacuum because p of uh, the, the momentum of vacuum is 0 and since p is arbitrary that delta function does not contribute. So, from this ket alpha ket omega drops out. So, you are left with sum over states which are single particle states and multi particle states. Okay? So, here let me write not equal to omega not a great notation, but this is what it is. Okay, so good. Um, now we have to look at 
Let me remove these also. How do I remove? And this also. Okay. So recap is over now. And uh, vacuum is also out of the equation. Now we have to look at the contribution of single particle states and multi particle states. Where when I am saying multi particle states, I mean states, if you are thinking in terms of Schrodinger picture, then states at time t equal to minus infinity, where we have assumed that these, uh, th these states represent uh, particles localized in space uh, far apart from each other. Okay. Okay. So now I'll make a, f a note here, which will be useful. Okay. So let's start with multiple particles, multi particle states. Okay. Then I will come back to single particle state. So let's first deal with multi particle states. So suppose. I am looking at this state. Okay. Then the total momentum or the sorry, the momentum of this state. Okay. And what is the momentum? It is the generator of the translation. So, if you look at the generator of translations in your interacting quantum field theory and take that operator and act on this state, you will find that this is an eigenstate. Okay. Th this is how we had constructed this. And the momentum P will be equal to this. Okay, this we have been doing for quite some time. Okay, so hold on. Okay, so that is the momentum of the state and it will have some energy which I will call as omega alpha. I okay, will leave it as alpha, um, just, uh, but alpha means this, okay. not the best, ex um, best notation, but you understand what I mean. Okay. So, energy will be omega alpha, where alpha is the state. Okay. Okay, now, um, you might already be aware of, but even if not, there is no worry that energy of a multiparticle state with total momentum p, which is this, okay, will always be larger than the energy of a single particle state with the same momentum. Okay. So, if you had if you had another state which is this, which is a single particle state. Okay. And let us say its corresponding energy is omega p and um, this one let me write slightly. So, by this I, okay. so let us say for this multiparticle state the energy is omega, okay, a temporary notation just to help me in telling what I am saying. So, by, by putting all this it is clear that I am not talking about. Um, about uh, even better it will be I think this is still confusing let me write as this, this way. Okay. So, even though the energy of this state uh, sorry the momentum of this state is P okay, which is some of these and for the single particle state I am again I am taking an, uh, the momentum to be the same as here. Okay. So, for both the states for this multi particle state and the single particle state both for both of them the momentum is p. Nevertheless, the energy of the multi particle state which is this one will be higher than omega p. Okay, that is a claim I am making it might be intuitively clear, 
even if not then i will i will show you even if it is i will show you not even if not okay this where uh okay so this i will show you but for now i will um, utilize this result to do something very nice okay so the point is energy of a multi particle state and a single particle state okay the difference is positive for uh, same uh, momentum total momentum of these two states okay so how can i utilize that well let's see here now you look at this exponential okay and we have played such games before also long before in the previous course so here you have this exponential so as far as the states which are multi particle states are concerned it's clear that omega alpha okay is greater than omega p okay because you are given some p and omega p is what omega p is right that's that's the energy of a single particle state so that's omega p corresponds to energy of a single particle state with momentum p now you have omega alpha here and i am right now looking only at multi particle states okay then omega alpha will always be greater than omega p okay so this uh, object omega alpha minus omega p is positive okay that's what i want to use now i'll show it later but that's what i want to use now omega alpha minus omega p is greater than 0 for this a multi particle state 